My name is Nan Curtis, and I'm an assistant professor at Pacific Northwest College of Art in Sculpture Foundations. This is uh, my latest body of work. Um, this show is actually pretty heavy on the found object, as in all of it is a found object, which is kind of interesting because the work wasn't in my studio, but in the, it ended up here. Um, I'm looking for objects that are really imbued with me um, prior to coming into the space and, and working with that meaning and developing new ways of uh, forming that and informing that. I'm very interested in the work that is active, and um, I'm an idea maker, so I use all of those my skills to sort of come together. Essentially, you'll get some objects that are fabricated to be activated by the viewer, and um, and maybe performed a little bit in some way. Um, a lot of my work is pretty personal and has a lot to do with me, or at least uses my. Um, experience to gather and, and make and create and put out into the world. Um, I've been teaching at PNCA for um, 15 years um, and I teach in the sculpture department mainly. Right now is a really dynamic time because as the school grows and we get to add more classes, we have to write new curriculum and so I'm really caught up in that process right now. I have two new classes that I'm teaching, one called Site Specificity in the Sculpture Department, the other one is Soft Sculpture. And it's really alive, actually, it's great right now, because we're growing. And, um, there, there's just a lot of potential energy that's going on right now. Um, I'm probably not the person that's going to make them master resin casting. But I am going to be the person that really gives them the confidence to try and trust and experiment and do things along those lines. And also to begin to build a conceptual language for themselves and why would you make that? And when we have a conversation about asking someone why, we actually delve into it and don't leave them hanging because they're rolling their eyes because they're hard student. Because even why, if it's paint, red paint on a campus, there's a why there. And so um, I want them to be confident about themselves with a certain kind of newfound confidence, I guess, to test the road. My perspective on teaching, I, I kind of figure myself to be a student advocate. I'm like the ultimate mentor. I like the one-on-one -on -one experience. I, delve a lot in my students, work with them pretty intensely and try to uh, engender a, a feeling of absolute risk taking and trust within the class enough that the students will really try some new things and manifest that through materials and ideas and doing performance when their background is in sculpture or whatever it is. Just feeling safe to actually take the risk to try new things and especially in ideas. One of the things that my students say to me, which is interesting and I don't think about, but is I think that they think of me as a role model and they're like, gosh, you do it all. You have family and you're making art and things like that. And this is a much more real approach to making work. And it works right now. It's all teaching is rewarding being at home, is rewarding being in the studio. All of them are sort of mixing together really nicely. I think that's kind of a Portland phenomenon. That goes back to why our city actually supports all of that pretty nicely. Um, today is first Thursday. Portland is a great town because you can actually do it. You can do it all. Um, it, there is, you know, you can make art. You can um, be a waitress if that's what you need to do. Um, you're, you can sell some work. There's people around. There is a conversation that's getting much larger than the city, which is part of the dynamic as we begin to grow and grow out of ourselves. Um, and I, I think it's a really approachable city in that way. Um, and in terms of coming to PNCA, I, mean, I just think it's unbelievably hot right now. <laughs> it's dynamic. It's an exciting place to be right now. So I don't. I mean. I don't even think I have to sell that. It's right there. It's on the tip of everyone's tongue. So 
and it's true. It's not like some media bliss or. Just explain to us what you guys 